welcome back to the channel. Uh, another lump of cherry on the lathe, mounted between centres, I'll show you that in a second. Um, I'm going to try and turn some sort of tankard. I've done a little copy thing which I think you may or probably didn't see, judging by the amount of subscribers I've got. But uh, what I'll do is show you what I'm going to do with this and we'll go from there. Actually, I might take my inch and a half roughing gauge, I think. Start with that, see what happens. Uh, I've given it a quick spin and we're looking at about 900 RPM. will be down this end. shape it now a little bit but not to worry
Now the old tankard has been uh, split a little bit in certain places. Now what I've done, I've mixed up some blue epoxy or blue coloured epoxy back. There's a couple of cracks in it which I need to fill. This is a biggie, quite deep. It's more or less filled in there. So I'm just sort of uh, topping it up as it were. And because there's a crack in that uh, rim there, I'm going to tape over that to stop it leaking. Continue pouring in until it fills that crack as well. Might even get some in the hole. What's left there? Oh, I doubt it there. Oh, that's that. See if I'm going in the fourth a bit, the rest of it will be down to tools. I think I'm going to make me a more stable hollowing tool if I want to carry on down there that's what it needs I think liquid. I'm starting to get warm actually that as well. That's going to twist a bit. So I'll let that settle back down. Think about an angle for it now. Right, well the, uh, the tanker body is sanded down to 
two quarters of it. I'm not going to go any finer than that because I'm going to coat it with epoxy. And the epoxy will fill any two quarter grit uh, marks. Plus, the, it'll adhere better. The quick wipe down in a second with some DNA or mess. And we'll uh, prep it for the epoxy. No, I'm actually prepping it for the epoxy now, but you know what I mean, putting it on. I'm just applying the epoxy here with a little foam pad. I'll do the inside in a minute. But I'll, uh, I'll take it off the lathe and take the chuck off. Right, now well, what we do now is just pour that in there. around a bit and let the excess drip to the bottom to form a pool down there. Well, I don't know if you can see in there but I'm just going to pop it over on the bench just to let it settle down give that 24 hours right I've drawn out a picture on a piece of uh, chestnut I've got roughly about what I want the handle to look like uh, stuck it on with a bit of uh, glue I'm just taking out some of the stuff with a hole saw a very blunt hole saw unfortunately roughly it. I've just lost a bit there. I'll try and find that and I'll glue that back in. Right, well that's the basic shape of the handle I've cut out. Just got, just got to sand it up and clean it all up. And I'm going to put it back here. But, uh, the main thing now is getting that to fit on there so it can be epoxied on. Uh, so I'll be doing that with the old uh, with a little Dremel tool just to hollow out. Better get some glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Although some would say it doesn't make much difference. Alright, I'll just give this a trim up now, clean it up, maybe run the road and just knock the corners off with the router, give it a good sanding, and then get it ready for gluing on. Marvellous. Right, overall it's not too bad. Needs a bit of, uh, there's a couple of little bits and pieces which need a flat off, so I'll do that with some 400 wet and dry. And then we'll see about polishing it up.
Right, that's pretty much finished. A bit to do on the inside, a bit of clean that to do on the inside. What I'm going to do is give it a coat of micro crystalline, 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 whatever, wax. Just to keep sticky ball prints off. Because uh, obviously that is completely encased in uh, a marine grade epoxy resin. So the only other job is to uh, stick the handle on. Which will mean uh, obviously removing a bit of this wax and scuffing up the epoxy so I can epoxy the handle onto the uh, onto the side, which I'll do that later. The handle's finished in polyurethane. it with a torch and scored it up a bit to make it look a bit older than it actually is and that will just pop on there at some point wonderful all right I've had a few minutes to dry just give it a quick whiz around polish it off buff it off Super. I think I left it a bit long to uh, to dry actually. Right, I'm going to put the handle there. And I'll put some tape on, mark out where it is, score it out, and get it ready for gluing. And I'll use it just to scrape back the polish. Before I do that. We'll get the uh, get it turned around. Get the tenon turned off. Get the base cleaned up. That's the next job. Marvelous. base sanded down to 240, I'm not going to go any further than that because it will need uh, coating with epoxy. quite all the way off but most of the way off there we go doesn't look horrendously bad now for the handle right I've got some 5 minute epoxy or 30 minute epoxy mixed up Slap a bit on there, see what happens, I suppose. Well. 
Okay. It was a bit silly earlier on, I tried to uh, force dry the polyurethane on the handle and it's gone all bubbly and yucky so that will have to be redone. A second coat and it's gone off. <sighs> 